How's it going lads? Little Will here at uh, day two of the SDF challenge. Today's country is France. I thought I was going to have a lot of trouble picking um, today's country. Um, I thought everyone was going to be picking um, weird pseudo snuff films that I never heard of in my life. Uh, luckily, Derek, Mr. Cinema Junkie, he uh, he picked uh, Satan, or Satan as it's called in English, which is a film that I'm fairly familiar with, and that kind of gave me a gist of what I could pick. Um, originally, I was going to pick Bassi et Moi, um, then I said I better go back and have a look at it, because it's been 10 years since I, saw, since I watched it. I got it when it first came out back in 2000, 2001, um, and I loved it back then. Like, um, I sat down, sat down last night and I watched it. No, it, it's still good. There's plenty of hardcore sex scenes in it and a couple of good kills. A um, couple of good heads getting blown off and a guy gets a gun shoved up his arse and stuff like that. But it's not as bad as I remember it to be, so uh, I don't think I'll pick that. Then I was going to pick one of the main four of the, the French films like Inside, Switchblade Romance, uh, frontiers and martyrs, but then I said no, they're kind of too obvious. So I picked a film which some people probably know, um, some people mightn't know. Uh, it's this film, The Ordeal, uh, or Calvera. Um, technically, it's not a French film. It's French Belgian, but it's spoken in French, so it's French. Um, it's usual hillbilly backwoods inbred type of film. It's about a guy. He's um, a travelling cabaret singer. Goes around the countryside in a van, um, doing shows for old folks' homes and stuff. Goes to this old folks' home up in the mountains in the mid middle of nowhere. Uh, coming home that night, van breaks down. Uh, he has to go to this village, stay overnight, and then in. The innkeeper is a nice guy, but a bit weird and a bit too nice. Tells him, oh, you stay here and I'll fix your car. And I know it's your man, he doesn't fix the car, he fucks it up even more. Um, following day, the guy goes for a jog. Outside the village, comes across this broken down barn, has a peep inside. Sees five or six of the guys from the village gang banging a pig um, and for some reason there's no women in the village either just some sort of a curse or some old um, some old thing where they don't have women in the town or they sacrifice the women or something like that and the innkeeper misses his wife because obviously the same thing happened to her and for some reason the cabaret singer guy reminds him of his wife so he takes him captive, ties him up, puts his wife's clothes on him, makeup, um, and violates him basically. Um, so from there on he tries to escape and not only does he have to, have to escape him but he has to escape the villagers as well. Uh, really good film. The one scene, that just a random scene, it's really freaky. It's in my favourites if you want to have a look at it. Uh, where they're inside in a bar, the guy goes over and starts playing the piano, and it's just this weird fucking p piano tune, and then everybody in the pub gets up and they start doing this weird fucking dance, and it's weird because they're all fellas, there's no women there, and it's just a freaky fucking dance, but it's funny. Um, so yeah, if you haven't seen this film, I'd definitely recommend it. Um, so that's my day two of the STF. 12 Days of Sodomy, uh, The Ordeal, check it out, thanks for watching.